Hello, and thanks for joining me once again. Yeah. This is Dave with the Tata Cat Geeks. Uh, we recently internally um, had some questions come up from some customers, and I figured, you know, if any, if one person has a question, it's usually pretty safe to say other people have that same question. And really, it's in regards to um, adding material properties to the parts, and maybe some better ways of going about it. Um, you know, traditionally, a lot of people will actually painstakingly go through and open each part and change the eye property. Vault is a great solution for doing this at the same time. You know, a lot of times we're working with customer data, step files or other kinds of data. We need to add this material property data too. Maybe I need to do some type of mass um, property analysis or an FEA analysis, and I need these properties in all of my parts. Well, one way to do this, um, and sure, I'm sure it's not the only way, is just going to your bill of material information. You have your model data, your structure data, your parts only data. So we have the ability to go through and change this really easy along the way. As a default, what you're not going to see um, in these areas here is usually you're not going to see material up in the list. So I just dragged it out of my list, but what you, what you can do to add material to your list so it's viewable is go up and choose your column here and go down to your material. <coughs> Excuse me. Select your material, hold down your mouse button, and drag it into your, your bill of material here. Now with that being done, I can actually go through and select one of these parts, a quick double click, and it brings up my material property list. You know, maybe these are alloy steel. Maybe I now want these to be aluminum, right? I can also right click and copy this information. Drag across multiple parts here. Actually, I'm going to start here, drag across multiple parts here, right click, paste. So just the one thing that you need to do with this, of course, is save your file. And saving your file, we're going to see it's going to write back to all the files that we have just affected with that bill of material. <coughs> Excuse me again. And now we can be rest assured that that material has been updated through all those parts without the painstaking process of opening each part individually and changing the eye property itself. So anyway, it's just a quick tip and trick. Uh, I'd like to thank some of the co-workers here at Tata Technologies. There was a little email exchange going around. I'd like to thank them. And I hope a few of you out there uh, get some value out of this post. Thanks, and have a great day.